the desire to lose weight rapidly hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Ekere Maureen I'm on a weight loss journey with a once a week we go V shots I've been on it now for like four to five months I went from 97 kilograms and right now I am on 80 kilograms and I'm proud of myself I'm still on this journey because my ideal weight is 75 I'm not tall I'm 5'3 so I'm supposed to be around 70 to 75 because I don't want to be very, 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 very slim like a toothpick. Okay. Now we have some common mistakes. Most of us do when we are on this Wigo V, Ozempi, Munjaro, all this was a week with loss injections. I'm part of it. I have my own mistakes. I've done my own fair share of mistakes, but I'm in a better position to tell you what not to do. The desire to have this rapid weight loss rapid weight loss I've seen people who didn't start from the beginning like 0 0.25 they just went straight up to one milligram four months down the line I'm still on one milligram I started from scratch from 0 0.25 0 0.5 I went like one step at a time okay I have to be on a particular dose for like a month and then the next month you went up like every month you take a step up but that people will move from like from the beginning they go to straight up to one milligram or 0 0.5 and before you open your eyes bam they've gone from this side from like this to like this very very fast very very rapid it comes with its own side effects trust me rapid weight loss comes with its own side effects second common mistakes that we do is that we don't exercise me i'm guilty about that fact i'm so so guilty i don't exercise i always give myself the excuse like huh i do night shift when i get home in the morning i need to rest i need to prepare the kids for school i need to pick up the kids from school i don't have time i'm always blah blah blah, blah. i know i know okay and i can still exercise in my house only for five to ten minutes i know that but i'm too lazy to do that that's because i'm very comfortable that i'm still losing weight now because i don't exercise i have sagging skin truth be told i don't even like to put on sleeveless because my hand right here is sagging okay take a look it's sagging all right i have a saggy skin my tummy it's sagging and that's because i don't exercise and that's a common mistake some of us are doing i know that i'm away the third common mistake some of us make is like we don't want to cut off sweets some of us have sweet tooth those sweet things they have they have a lot of calories they will slow down your process they will actually slow it down there is no way you can do you cannot eat your cake and have it eating too much of sweet if you think you are not eating too much but today you just pick one candy here and throw it in your mouth tomorrow you pick chocolate and throw it in your mouth the next day you take soda and throw it in your mouth all those things donuts cakes they have, they have a lot of calories. I'm a lover of chocolate. I'm a, lot of, I'm a lover of bread and chocolate. I love my mambo. I don't know if you're from my country. Mambo is chocolate still. But I had to avoid all those. Pizza, burger, french fries, going to KFC all the time. I love all those stuffs. But what will I do? I need to lose some weight. Avoid those stuffs. We think like, we feel like, oh, it's just... It's just a little thing like this. A little chocolate like this. Let me just throw it in my mouth. At times I'll open a bottle of malt. Let me not lie. And I will take that bottle of malt for like three to four days. I'll drink, I'll sip a little today. I keep it in the fridge. The next day I sip a little, I keep it in the fridge. The other day I'll be like two days, hmm, I'm so tired, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, I need, I, need, I need malt. I'll sip a little and keep it in the fridge. But those are the mistakes we are all making, okay? Sweet tooth. I'm happy my doctor gave me some drugs, medicines. We have topiramide and the other one. They help for the craving. They help. If I take those drugs, I don't crave for sweet things. I stay like I don't crave for it. I even see my kids eating chocolate. I'm not craving for it. Another common mistake we do is that we don't drink enough water. We don't hydrate ourselves enough. We don't. We don't hydrate enough. Thank God it's summer. 
You'll be testing right now. I you must drink. With with um we go V, normally, normally you feel testy all the time. You feel testy, your throat is always dry, so you're about to be drinking water, but we don't even hydrate enough. And for the fact that when you're on Wigo V, you don't have appetite to eat. We don't even try to eat because all we want to do is to lose weight. And that's another mistake we are making right there. We need all those nutrients. We need all those nutrients. If you know you don't have the time to be eating all the time because you don't have appetites to eat, get some vitamins, multivitamins. I will not stress that enough. I can't stress it enough. Get some multivitamins. Make sure you're on your multivitamins all the time. It will help with all the nutrients that you're not getting from the food that you're supposed to be eating. Multivitamins, omega-3, that's a fish oil. Collagen for your skin. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, but it is what it is. Those are some of the common mistakes I have been making. I am still making because I'm still on this journey. And some people are still making. But the first one I didn't do because I started from 0 0.25. I didn't went straight up from like this video is becoming too long bye guys until next time please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you all next time